Russell Wilson there. Life is good. But what is life going to be now for the Seahawks in a division that's gotten tougher? Yeah. Um, for him, as he's getting older, yeah. he's been through – this is the second time off season where he's kind of suggested, maybe I'm not so happy here, but in the end, he's happy enough there in Seattle. This, like, where, where – I guess, Nick, I that's got, the question. Is where is he – Right now, future-wise, is he locked in in Seattle, or is this becoming a year-to-year kind of thing with him? He's not locked in, and I mean, I can it. It feels that way, in part because the people who know things, like the Adam Schefter type people, they made it clear that when we all were like, "Ah, oh, that's nonsense," they'll mm-hmm. never trade him. They made it clear that both sides were entertaining the opportunity for him to move on, yeah. and that doesn't just go away. And I have a theory that I've been bouncing around about Russell Wilson is, okay. I believe that. He was expecting to be the face of the league. He was expecting this to be his time. He was expecting Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady to to have retired by now, and now he'd be the guy. But those guys continued to play at a high level, and then Patrick Mahomes came in the league. It feels to me that, and this is just thinking about how I would feel and, like, human nature, like, I feel like I'm next. I'm playing the best. I'm the best young quarterback for year after year. You're like, who you want to build a team around? Who's the best young quarterback? The name you heard was Russell. Then Pat came in, and Deshaun has other issues, but Deshaun came in. And we were talking about those guys as the next guy to take over the league. And Russ feels like maybe it's because of the market in Seattle, or maybe it's because these guys just came out of nowhere. But I could imagine that Russ feels like, what about me? Like, I'm supposed to be on the cover of Madden. I'm supposed to be the one selling tickets. I'm supposed to be the one that's getting all the endorsements. I'm supposed to be the one that everyone's talking about can compete or, or is chasing Tom Brady, chasing the all-time greats. And now we're still talking about, is he ever going to get his first MVP? So I feel like some of this stems from that, from feeling like, what about me? Put me in a situation so people can all clamor about how great I am because he is great. But if you go through a list of the quarterback you would pick to win one game, how many do you get through before you get to Russell? At least three, right? Yeah, maybe, right now, maybe, it, yeah, maybe. oh yeah. I mean, yeah, you, I think you three would pick, you would pick, you know, Tom Brady, right? You Tom, Aaron, Aaron, Rogers, and Aaron Patrick, Rodgers, and Patrick Mahomes, and that's pretty much it. And the only reason why is because those three, to a degree, one's won an MVP, one's two of them won Super Bowls. Mm-hmm. So it's recent yeah. memory in terms of the the long term stay. He ain't going nowhere. Where are you going? He, he never was going right, anywhere. Before and you I say he's not going anywhere, okay, go ahead. But let, let me. I just want to build off of what Nick said here because that's. Exactly how I've felt about this. Okay. This is literally – now, I'm not saying he's trying to get out, but I do think there's something – it's almost like a Dame Lillard kind of thing right. where it's like, I'm good here because he's got no, Pete, but, I'm, I'm, but I, shouldn't I be more by no, now? Shouldn't gonna, I be but, bigger? But I'm going to give you why he's not leaving. One, he's invested in the Pacific Northwest, equity-wise. Like, he can't go anywhere – in this football universe and be more appreciated than he is in the Pacific Northwest. And the reason, one of the reasons that Adam said what he said or whoever yeah. Nick said what they said is because that's what they thought. Mm-hmm. You're going to pick up the phone. Chicago called. And what did they do? Click, thanks for the call. <laughs> We're not interested in what trading. What about having the list Russell, of teams? That's an agent. You, you're talking to your agent. Your agent, I'm going to show you I'm working hard. I'm just going to. And doesn't realize the blowback that he's getting ready to get for doing that. You got to remember his agent's a baseball agent. Yep. He's the only client that he has that plays football. So he doesn't really understand the football agenting side of the business. He only understands the baseball side, which is traded to the Yankees. Totally different. (laughs) It's a totally different way of doing business. Okay. So back to why he wouldn't leave. Good. They're heavily invested in that area. Number one, they just, and Nick said, how come not me? He just came out with his fashion line, with <laughs> Nike, with his kid, for kids' fashion line. All of it is Seattle stuff, everything. It's colors, it's scheme, it's for kids, him, him and his wife. They're exclusively in Nordstrom's. Where's Nordstrom's? Seattle's headquarters. Uh, uh, Nordstrom's mm-hmm. headquarters is in Seattle. Mm-hmm. That's just one sidebar of things. They're on plenty of magazine covers, mm-hmm. plenty of them. They're continuing to move in the celebrity status. When you think about power couples, you think about Giselle, Tom, Sierra, Russell. That, that's really in the football universe. 
And that's important to him. You're not getting that anywhere else Keith. when you already has established yourself as a football player and a Super Bowl champion on a team that's giving you $140 million. They've given you everything. You said you wanted to address some stuff. You signed off on the offensive coordinator. Mm-hmm. You signed off on it. You met with him and discussed game plans before and strategy before you signed off on it. That's one. Two, you said they needed to address the offensive line. They've addressed it for you. They're everything they've gone out and hired, I mean, gone out and drafted DK Metcalf because you said you needed a big receiver. They did that. They tried to, you wanted them to sign Flash Garden. They signed him, I think, twice, you know, <laughs> and, and said, yeah. hey, we're going to give him an opportunity. They kicked the tires on Antonio Brown because you wanted him to do that. So this, this whole notion that Pete and, and the general manager Snyder are not doing what they're asking him to do is just not, that's not true. It's not factually true. But I think what Nick's talking about, what I'm talking about, is different than that. It's, it's that sense of in the sport. Like, your success that you had as a wide receiver. Pretty successful. But yes. Go ahead. Okay. No, but, but I'm saying, like, with that in mind, if you heard people talking about from your era, the great wide receivers, and you hear, you know, whether it's T.O., whether it's, uh, you know, Randy Moss and all these different, you know, wide receivers you hear about, and your name didn't come up, why aren't you like, well, wait a minute. Yeah, like, but shouldn't I be in that I, conversation? You, like, you can't even, what Russell Wilson has done in the different. sport. I'm different. I'm built different. Though. Okay, but in the sport, though, he's know. got a Super Bowl. He should have. T- he really should have two. Like, don't you feel like that's something that you're like, am, am I they, really already we, like fifth in line here? But we do talk about him, and he understands that he's fourth in line. He gets it. He's not comfortable with that. It's my point, though. He doesn't yeah. want to be that. He thinks he should be first in line. The one Super Bowl that he had, that season was about that defense. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.